Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another season of Trapping with Trapper Joe. Hey guys, uh, so it's been a while since I put out a video. I've been uh, having a very busy summer and just been taking care of a few things for myself. So, uh, it's the opening, well, opening day for trapping season was October 5th. Today is October 7th. Um, so I'm gonna start doing videos again for trapping and uh, we're gonna see how things go but uh, I just wanted to give you this little update to let you know what was going on and uh, we'll get the season started here so um, I'm gonna change up how I'm doing my videos a little bit and uh, it might take me some time to get them all out but uh, be patient with me and uh, I'll have some pretty good videos and pretty good footage coming up for you in the meantime, here's a look at what I've been up to this summer. Good morning, guys. Uh, just out for a good day of fishing. I already got one little walleye just uh, down there. And yeah, we'll see what else I can't get before the day is done. There's a bay up here that I'm headed to, so we'll go check that out, see what happens, and uh, we'll have some fun for a couple hours. Good morning guys. Uh, Miss Trina here is having trouble baiting her hook, but she's gonna get it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get thrown in the lake for doing that. Yes you are. <laughs> so we're gonna do some fishing, have some fun, and we'll see what we get. In the meantime, let's hope she doesn't throw me in the lake. So there's mom, papa, or the other way around. I can't tell from here and I can't see under feathers. But those are two bald eagles. Oh, and it's just starting to get some of those little red feathers. The females don't have any red feathers um, and never will. And um, and the males, when they come back next year, so our babies that are hatching this year are going to come back with a bright red uh, gorget. So if we get a male hummingbird that's fully red, we know it wasn't born this year, it's migrated here. So that's kind of cool. So we're going to see what we have. Um, so thank you for holding that hummingbird for me. First thing I'm going to do, for those of you who didn't see before, uh, these are our hummingbird bands. So if, if you were just looking at this display a minute ago, those bands are for different birds. Um, our biggest bands are about this big. Uh, for raptors, different hawks and stuff. So these ones are made specially uh, for hummingbirds. We actually have to make these bands. Uh, the Canadian Wildlife Service send those ones to us, but these ones come in a flat sheet and we have to cut and form them all. So it's, uh, it's a job that I usually end up getting stuck with. <laughs> and it's usually a winter, a winter day job. So, All right, so we'll get one of those little bands off. And we're gonna open it on a little needle so, so you spread it out? Yeah, to open it up. Okay. Um, and then my pliers. So I was saying earlier that the hummingbird pliers are pre-drilled, so you can't possibly hurt the hummingbird's legs um, because I can squeeze that and it'll never close up. So it, it fits the band perfectly. So I get the band in there. And thank you so much. So in here is a, a little hummingbird. So. Um, male hummingbirds are smaller than female hummingbirds, so when it's, uh, at this time of year, if we can't tell if it's a male or a female, and I'll make sure I, I'll bring it out and every, I'll, I'll walk around with it, um, we have to measure to find out. So if I see a hummingbird zipping around my feeder, it is white, has a white chin, and it has white tips on its feathers, I'm going to assume it's a female hummingbird. If I catch it, and I measure it, I might find out it's a male that doesn't have any of the male traits yet. <laughs> so, hey, what do you got here? Okay, I know what this one is already. So, you can hear it too. Mm -hmm. It's not happy. Oh, it's fine. They're so, and you know what? Birds are like people, they all have their own personalities. And some are super, super, super vocal, and others don't say a word. This one's just a vocal fella. I mean, I'm <laughs> All right, so. 
Oh, so this one's super wiggly, so I'm gonna get a band on them really fast, and then we'll bring it out so everyone can get a really great view. So I'll wrap it up, keep his wings nice and secure, and we'll get that band on it. So he is not happy to get the band. Oh, they don't mind it so much. It's like you wearing a ring or a bracelet. It just rolls around on their legs. Oh, there's a leg popping up for me. Thank you very much. And we'll get the band on it. So there you go. For those of you that didn't see the band earlier, you can kind of see the band. <laughs> it's super tiny. Uh, and there's pictures at the front of, of them as well. Um, so I could measure this and write down the measurement, so I'll see if he'll cooperate. If he won't, I won't bother because I know it's a male hummingbird and the measurement isn't quite so important. And it's only 40, and 40 millimeters here, zero. The other thing we do, if they cooperate, is measure the, the colon so, or the little bee. No, that's okay. Not the first time I've been clapped. <laughs> Probably not the last. <laughs> Probably not. Could be, well, Jonah would do it just because it's taunt, but Coco would be. See right here? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my just God, Tick loves her. Hello. Hello. Hello, stay right there. That's <laughs> <laughs> not. No, no. It's not Adam. That, no, that's not Ryan. That's Adam. Right, 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 right. That's oh, Adam. Oh, <laughs> How are you? I feel like an ant or something. Perfect. So you can, see, if you take a close look, you can see it has the whiskers there. Yeah. Oh. So they act as a little bit of a funnel for the bugs. Oh, okay. So it just gives them a little more of an advantage to try to catch them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, more... yeah, they're pretty. A, a lot of the birds are really calm. So, and when you're ready, just open your finger. And then it might just. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, so on the other side of that creek, right where that big tall, uh, yeah that one is, is where my trail goes in on that side and then it follows up the cut up the hill and then connects well keeps going around back to the EMU road um, so I came in through there I'll show you that in a second but at, just at this creek and I'm seeing a few signs right here there's a beaver run or a beaver trail there's another beaver slide up there, a couple beaver slides around here. So there must be a hut near here someplace. Um, I'll find it eventually. 
but for today I'm just going to turn around and uh, go see about another trail maybe. So I'm just down a gravel pit on my trap line, it's off the highway, but I saw this hole or what appears to be a hole, there's some scat right there. In the uh, sandbank up here, so I thought I'd come sneak a peek. It looks like something was just digging here. Yep. At some point, something was digging here. But I have seen fox in this pit before. And so there's a pretty good possibility that's what it is. There's lots of tracks around. One right there. A bunch more here. So maybe there is a den around here and I just don't see it. Some more scat. Anyways, we'll uh, keep this in mind for the fall and I'll uh, maybe come set some sets in here.